This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Autodesk has really put an effort in the past few releases of AutoCAD to improve its three-dimensional modeling abilities, and this release is packed full of new modeling tools. AutoCAD's user interface is controlled by workspaces, and since AutoCAD 2011 has ramped up the 3D abilities of AutoCAD, it has two new related workspaces. They are the 3D Basic, which we're in now, and the 3D Modeling. The 3D Basics workspace provides a very simple interface with the most basic tools for creating and visualizing 3D models. The 3D Modeling workspace provides access to the complete array of 3D tools. It has everything 3D related in it. The 3D modeling tools in AutoCAD 2011 have been improved with more flexibility and increased ease of use. The basic extrude, loft, revolve, and sweep commands, for example, now allow us to select an edge or sub-object to use as a profile to create a new surface. You don't have to use a planar or flat object anymore. But the big deal is that AutoCAD 2011 now has surfaces that we can model. Before, all we had were solid objects, like our box, our cylinder, our spheres. Very primitive, very basic shapes that we would have to draw and create and subtract and intersect with to get our shapes. AutoCAD 2010 gave us meshes, which gave us more advanced shapes. But now, 2011 gives us surfaces. With these surfaces, we can do a lot more. The surfaces can either be our basic procedural surfaces or they can be NURB based. And NURB means it's a non-uniform rational B spline. Essentially, it works like a spline in your 2D, but it's a 3D surface and you have control points for it. These new modeling tools are very advanced and with them we can easily create organic shapes with surfaces that we can edit, similar to some of these. This cylinder looking object here actually is NURB based. If we click to turn on the NURBs, you can see the control points, these little blue circles. If we go and we pick on one of them, select a direction, as we edit it, it changes the shape. Makes it a very different object. You can change it very quickly, very easily. And this was something you couldn't do before with our tools that we had before. Not exactly sure what it is I'm trying to make, but there it was. Some of the other tools that we have allow us to work with existing surfaces. In this case, we can use the offset command. It offsets a surface just like the offset command in our 2D drawings will offset a line. And the blend command helps us to create new objects from existing surfaces. This is something that we couldn't do before, not this easily. There are a lot of other commands and tools that in the 3D package that it gives us. They're very complicated and we don't really have enough time. One last thing though I'd like to mention, AutoCAD 2011, along with all of the Autodesk 2011 product line that use materials for photorealistic rendering abilities, which means it has the ability to make your 3D objects look real. Well, they now have one universal material library that is the same across all of the 2011 products. And here is a glimpse of what it looks like. You can apply these materials to your objects when you go and render them. You can have different looks to it, different textures, different feels. So if we were to take this stone and apply it to these objects, and when we go to render it, you will see what it looks like. Now with some time and effort, you can get everything in it just right so that it looks very real. And all these material libraries are universal. So that means when I create a model, 
in AutoCAD and I apply one of these materials to it. And then when I take it to another AutoCAD based product like Inventor or Revit or 3DS Max, these materials will come with it and I won't have to reset them up because they have the same library available to both.